<clears throat> All right. Gotta get situated here. Driving glasses, but not so much, but you know what? Maybe they'll be fine. I usually like to heat. I haven't done it in a while, but I like to have um, uh, I like to have when I'm in the pub, uh, not so much in the public, but let's say I go to a building or something, you know, and it's just, well, because of the COVID, you know, I don't like any uh, bacteria germs, you know, germs rather get, get in my eyes, eye socket or, you know, so it's a layer of protection. You know, that, that's one of the reasons. It's not that I hide, just that it's for safety purposes. And then there's, you know, there's a spiritual part of it, but I'm not going to get into that. Maybe I'll do some reading about that, and I'll talk about it. Till then, let's just drive. Now, this is uh, downtown, if you will, Elizabeth, so... Uh, uh, I'm gonna take the Gothels, the new Gothels, still new. That's right. <laughs> when I worked uh, for the beer distributor company, I would go to uh, Staten Island once in a while. I actually liked the Staten Island route; it was okay. Uh, a couple times it was stressful, but you know it had to be done. So. Uh, go to the Gothels and it was just the old bridge it was just like ah you know why am I having these on right now these are the, these aren't typically the driving glasses Same route as yesterday, <laughs> except just going to, going to Staten Island to Brooklyn. You know? Wait, let me see. Yeah, I had to think about that. It's an easy ride. Would like it if it wasn't just so cloudy. Doctor at Trinidad said, "Yeah, he's gonna take you. Gonna take an injection." I was like, "No, I, it's I thought it was a voluntary program." So I was like, "I don't want to take my." Are you sure you want to take my? Like, sure, you sure. They made an appointment for the 24th for my injection. After I got injection at the and at the, the psychiatric place, and you know, and it's like I didn't want it because I'm not. I don't believe I'm a schizophrenic, and you know, it's not like I need it's gonna help me. I believe it suppresses my mentality. There's a lot of negative side effects from that, you know. But I'll make a video how like, the nurse even butchered the injection. So there's that. And you just, you're just like, oh, yeah, what's your pharmacy? And then, you know, it's like, uh, I told him, ShopRite and Linden is the one I usually go to. And he's like, and then he like, do you know the address? Do you know the phone number? Like, how am I going to know the phone number? I mean, I guess I kind of could, but it's like, why don't you just look it up on the internet? Also, like, aren't you supposed to kind of, don't you have a database or something? You know, you can just look up the pharmacy. And, you know, what's it with, and it's like, not, and I'm not going to say, it's, well, it's only a couple miles away, so, you, you know, you could look it up. It doesn't even matter. Like, what if I just give you a wrong pharmacy, just fake number? I mean, what's that going to do? Uh, you know, it's just like, it's so disorganized and, you know, just... Not just unprofessional, that's a given, but just so, so careless about it, you know? Like, how would you trust that guy? Like, let's say, you know, you're on the board of Trinitas. Like, would you employ that person? There's a lot of them out there. You know, it's just unbelievable. And he's not the only one, you know? A couple of doors down, you know, the 
medical doctor, Dr. Okoro, would say the same thing. Do you have the number? I'm like, bro, like, you, you asked me for last time. Like, you called him last time. And then he would get angry because he was on hold. And he would just, like, throw a fit. I'm like, oh, wow, man. Like, I really don't experience it like this, you know? Just, like, so, like, that just careless, like, babyish, you know? His first name was Beloved, this guy right here. Beloved Marty. Like, I was, like, very indicative. Let's see how beloved he is with sarcasm. You know? There's nothing beloved about him. Like, who gives you that name? Is it some Haitian name, some religious thing? Like, why would you, you know, just a slap in the face of, of anyone that's beloved? <laughs> you know, it's like, that guy is? I mean, who's going to fall for that one? I mean, this story, oh, this is downtown Elizabeth, yeah. I got some mean looks here when I was driving. I think it was my car coming from work like a couple years ago. You know, I was like, bro, like it's like 2, 2 p.m. You're angry, you're standing on the corner of, you know, like an impoverished neighborhood. Maybe you should know, do something with yourself and not concentrate on that or on me. You know, it's like, I was thinking about, should I just pull over and get out and pretend like I'm going to the store? But I hey, what's up, bro? What's up, buddy? How you doing? Like, you good? You good? You know, like, what are you looking at me like that? Don't do that shit. I'm not into that crap. And then the other guy, the next one, bro, they do that all the time. But <laughs> like, I scared somebody with that. <laughs> you know, I'm just like, I'm annoyed with that shit. Like, what are you looking at? Oh, no, going straight. Oh, it's Santa Dalbert's. Yeah, let me take a look. St. Albert's Church, the Familia goes here. I used to go here. Uh, supermarket on the corner, burned down every night. I had a photo about that. It just something very, very uh, menacing how it burned down, you know? Just that one supermarket, they, had to, they rebuilt it. There was a chick here, she used to go to my grandma's school. I had the biggest crush on her, she was beautiful. They're like, you know, uh, these, these, these kids, Polish kids, I don't know, Polish or not, they like, they told me, oh, we're going, we're going out. We went to this Tropicana where like, you know, everyone would go to Elizabeth and she just happened to be sitting next to us. It looked like her. I was like, is that really her? It's like how, and like, he, this kid went to St. Anthony. She went to St. Anthony's. Then somebody told me she was a whore. I'm like, she had kids. I'm just like, I don't want to hear that. I kind of, I get it, but it's like, ah, you know, I'm not surprised he, they had something to do with her. You know, and it's just like, we're very weird. And then she just happened to be sitting next to at the at the diner. It was just so weird. I felt so uncomfortable. As all these things were happening, I was like, why are people fucking stalking me, bro? I, I don't know if I remember I wanted to talk to her, but I was like, you know, she was still pretty. I don't know if she gained weight or not. I wouldn't care about, I don't care about that, but it's just like, it's just very odd. I think she was the only girl that actually gave her a rose. It was so weird. I felt like... I felt like red as hell in the face. There was people behind me. She used to work there. <laughs> she was, I don't care if she was underage. She did well, except she couldn't count. No, she couldn't multiply. <laughs> like, you know, like, she'll be a wife, but she, you know, don't have too many children. <laughs> she won't be able to multiply them. You know, she start subtracting them or some shit. <laughs> like, it would be a problem, wouldn't it? <laughs> but I actually gave her a rose, and I was red as hell in the face. I was just like embarrassed. I was like, oh, I just kind of wanted to uh, stumble the words. Like, you know, I was just like, wow, I can't believe I even did that. I felt like a fool after that, but. Oh, here's the old house. Uh, Atlantic, 49 Atlantic is where I used to live. I can't believe I missed that. That's my street. This field, they put a parking lot. Sons of, we used to play football over there. Like actual, you know, US football. It looks so small now. I think they put that house in there or something. This is a one way. This is a, a waste management facility, something like that. It wasn't there when I was living here. Oh, there was a house here. Guy reminds me of KY Poopy for some reason, you know? He used to live, he had this dog, and the dog was just barking, it was just over, like it was overfed, it was just fat, it just like, oh, it was old, it was hurting. I think I, I found it walking around, I brought it to my house or something. Maybe it was another dog, you know? And I wanted to keep him and stuff. Or her, it was just like it was just like it started laying next to my mattress. I used to scratch it, was just laying there, just like sleeping. It was just it was kind of sad, you know. Matero Park, shelter over here, animal shelter. I don't know if they still have it. 
actually it wasn't, I don't know if it was a shelter or just like a, you know, a trailer and stuff. It's harsh, you know. This is, uh, William, William H, school number 20, school number 22. I wanted to go here. It was like a, for, uh, not special students, but like, you know, the pre, pre not pre, people that, just kids that were smart. I just, you know, they used to actually do a bit of work and then, you know, they could talk or something. Got those bridge. Yeah, buddy. 2019, I think that, you know, they actually put this bridge together. Put this bridge together. They, they built a new one, you know, there it is. It's beautiful. Same structure as in Delaware. The top, the arcs. So cool. Except it's smaller. In Delaware, they have it bigger, and I think it's like yellowish golden. I love driving to that bridge as well. It's actually very, very spacious, you know? It's brand new, so of course it's gonna be good, but. Going to Brooklyn. Uh, I think I'll go to Food Town first. Actually, I'm trying to find the one. Me and uh, when I worked uh, for Amtech, um, I, I we had a Brooklyn run one day. It was just so stressed. This guy Kozlowski, he drove, and we our first stop was a, a supermarket, and we we took in. Actually, no, we didn't take in recyclables, but I saw a machine with like you know that would take in recyclables. So. So I thought that was like pretty freaking cool, and uh, it was just so stressful that day. But I was like, I want to remember this 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 store. It was back of the supermarket, you know. So I was like, I come here one day, just like you know. And also, I was like, you know, when I just come here, like you know, recycle some things, make a couple dollars, just to have an experience, but I, like walk around and shit. I was about to do that, and I was like, I got a car. I could even there's so many things I could do with that. It'd be so much fun. the gobbles on four five all right it's then new jersey so they just drive carefully now <laughs> uh let me hop over to the middle lane it was on the golf as you could see uh all the cars that i guess are being imported you know, can't see it right now. Oh, I missed it, but yeah. Ooh. My dash cam would have been good, it's just that I couldn't upload it to anywhere. And I couldn't even play the video, so I gave it up. Don't drink and drive, get right. What about recording and driving? <laughs> I have one hand. The other one on the shifter. Froggy chilling. Forest Avenue, Forest Ave. That's the way, that's my one of the first exits that I would remember. Sometimes I would take it to go to Staten Island. And not that it needs to be out in the open, but here, yeah, easy pass. Get the number and have a free vacation, buddies. <laughs> All the way to Florida. Couple bucks and mommy will pay for it. Who wants to make a deal? I'm playing. Oh, I love these things. It would be nice to get an alert like on that thing that you actually paid. One time in Delaware, I probably paid like hundred dollars and I paid for it once. And I think, and I, think, I don't know if I paid cash or something. They wanted to screw me over, you know. I know you don't like me, but like, fuck, hundred dollars is hundred dollars, lady. It's like, what? I'm gonna go to a court and like contest in Delaware, call somebody, you hang up on me. You guys are ridiculous, but. I never used to take this one, 440. That will take you, uh, well, take you to, to Pretamboy, actually. Or is it, some, no, it's Pretamboy, Richmond Avenue, right? It's like you don't work here for a couple years, but you remember these like, these streets, you know, you remember their names. Uh, it just, so, yeah, it just like, it's a very, it's hill-like over here. There's so many hills and like valleys, but if you drive the truck, you remember the road, so you like, especially when it's a sunny day, you, you know, you, you have a chill moment, and you know all the routes, you know all the stores, you really just think about, oh, there's parking here, here, and that, but you know, you drive around, and uh, it's just like a, a structure, you know, it's like a every, every week thing, you know, you just get used to it, and you know, they tell you, oh, we got Staten Island this week, there's just so much this and that, but you just, you know, you fill up the truck and you get it done.
parking can be an issue, but staying on actually wasn't that bad. Only one or two places. It was just horrible. You know, you get kind of stressed, you kind of get worried, but at the end of all, you get it done, you're like, fuck, maybe I should look for a different job. Like a different company, you know? Victory Boulevard, that's the one I used to take, I believe. That's the one that would take me it's on the it's on the western uh, uh most of Staten Island and it was like a Polish stores. Uh actually you have to not a Polish yeah there was a Polish deli delicatessen right there. You have to make a U-turn. Here's another exit. I guess the one is northbound, southbound, but uh, I think I would take this one, number eight. Either an eight or seven or something. Yeah, I forgot. Uh let me see. No, it was the other one, I believe. Yeah, just, you know, Staten Island, you know? It's like a couple miles and you'll be right in Brooklyn. Right there. Over the Verrazano, baby. HOV lane. Not the rapper, guys. All right, we get situated. Fuck it, let me have some fun. Oh yeah, feel that. When I left for Brooklyn uh, over a year ago, just, I was like, fuck, I'm gonna go there. They find an apartment, this and that. I, uh, I was driving here, then I came back to Jersey. Actually, no, <laughs> I went like twice over the bridge. Now that I forgot something, I think I did it on purpose. Because I had, you know, the easy pass from Oz. I was like, fuck it, that's Stanley paid for it. I was going to do it the whole day, like five, six, how many times? I want to beat a record, like the most driven with easy pass. I was wondering, like, after like the fifth time, they cut you off. <laughs> like, you know, I'm like, well, fuck it. Then, you know, uh, then, you know, a couple hundred dollars. <laughs> She's going to pay over that one-time fee, like, over and over again. Even even better for me. <laughs> he was like, I don't give a fuck. I was going to throw it out. I was like, no, nah, keep it. I wonder until she blocks it. Like, <laughs> you know, I don't give a fuck. Fucking my Aunt Marta over there texted me. Hi, how you doing? Oh, did I get a ticket before I <laughs> before I know they're Marta? <laughs> Fucking cunt. <laughs> you know, like, what the fuck? People are just so ridiculous. <laughs> they're like the corniest people ever. Like, you're not really hurting me. <laughs> you know? Pay the fucking bill, bro. <laughs> I'd go to Virginia if I fucking wanted to. Just didn't have money for gas. <laughs> you know? I was like, if only I could get that. <laughs> <laughs> fucking end up in Canada or some shit. Mommy paying for that shit. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Started thinking, of, started calling myself grimy and a tourist because I was getting lost in Brooklyn, <laughs> just walking around in circles in one block, like on some Tesla shit, but <laughs> without trying to do it. Not even that. You know, but... Wow, that looks like could be a nice car, but it's just so not taken care of. Here it is. I'm not gonna point that out, I just had needs a wash. Let me let me find the guy. <laughs> find the guy. Come on, buddy. <laughs> We're getting close here. Pull over. Let's have a talk. <laughs> Open the door, don't be scared. Just a couple of us. It's in my mind. <laughs> I'm joking. You know, it's like I don't wanna put the guy in a spa, but it's like, you know, it is kinda of low. I mean I had an eclipse, you know, I get it. The car is oh, yep, he was first. And the heavy operating uh, vehicle lane is to the left, so you know I'm one, three plus, three plus people, so minimum three people. Target Street. Don't be tardy when you get there. There was a guy selling stuff like potato chips and like you know, and he had drinks there. You know they do that, which is that one place over there. It is a matter of convenience. You pull over, you like you're driving, it's hot, and you know the guy has something like a water or something, so it's pretty cool. They do that in Newark as well, on Route uh, 21. Is it 21? Yeah, 21. 21 takes you to 22, by the way. Why do they do that? It's just like, like fucking with people, you know? Fingerboard and Lily Pond. Was Fingerboard the last stop? I used to get stressed. What if I miss it? Like, you know, like if it would have been now, I'd be like, oh, yeah, I, I, uh, I missed the turn. Oh, gosh, tell me if I fucking play Hodge Double Clean. Fuck him. I forgot. I was thinking of you, thinking of me or some shit. <laughs> no, I wouldn't even do that, but. And there's the scenery. The bridge.
Bridge, the Verrazano. Trucks, has my use upper level. Yeah, the trucks always always go upper level. I like driving the upper level. Uh, you can see uh you can see the, the Hudson right there. So and there it is. There she glow there she glows. <laughs> In the distance. <laughs> I gotta practice with that voice a little bit better. Start giggling at it. Uh, is this, um, oh geez, I can't believe I forgot. No, no, it's a line. What am I talking about? It reminds me of something else. Upper level, lower level. Uh, just gonna hold the phone, enjoy the ride. Guy in sixth. Yeah, when I drive automatic, this thing, like I, I set it up so it shows the gearbox. I was like in fifth gear, going like 20, 30 miles an hour. And it's like, like I would not do that in like a 100% standard manual. It would be so you can do it, but it's like, it just wouldn't be right. It's like wow, I didn't like that. But anyway, here we are. I guess I'm paying for the bridge right now. Cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. There we go. When I was, when I first, when we first came to the States, we would, me and my dad would go through here, you know? Actually, what am I thinking? Where did we go to? Just to New York. Once in a while. Not so much to the airport. JFK is to the east, obviously, you know? Take the, uh, the Belt Parkway, but once, not so much JFK. Where did we go to that? We just were very horizontal. I mean, obviously Brooklyn, but I guess we took, we were, when we go to the city, we, Manhattan, we would take this route. And yeah, it's a little bit rusted, but eventually they paint it. It is cloudy and foggy, so I can't see it too properly. Statue of Liberty is to the left. Should be somewhere around up there. Let me see. Uh, look at all the ports, ships coming in and out. It's just such a good sight, you know. You know, this is like the cool one of the coolest experiences when you go to Manhattan. You know, you can take the train; it's cool as well. But uh, there's a Bell Parkway, JFK Airport, BQE. Some people get get stuck on 278. It's 278. All right, there. I like math, but not that much. People are obsessed. You know, the Bell, the Bell Queens Expressway. But gotta love the arc, right? Look how tall that thing is. Like, imagine what kind of trucks drive through here. Was it just a ship? <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? And look how old, ancient this, this bridge is, and it's just there. It is a bit narrow. They could expand it. They could just build another one. Like, man, I don't know, four, five, maybe six lanes one way. You know, like the, the bridge uh, in the going to the Delaware. You know, it's just so convenient. Better signs. Like, you know lit up signs not like the previous one but actually led screens or something like that and this is cool Marbury could be lit up for for night you know it just technology is out there and i'm taking the bqe gas is good but first time i came here i knew where where uh you know amtec had his uh uh brooklyn uh bar and, and the other so not that there's the bar is there, but I'm pretty sure it is. And the, the other place, Biba, whatever they called it, because I went there once. I was like, fuck it, let me just go and explore. And I took a prior exit. I didn't have a lot of gas. Eventually, I made it there. I, I made it like, you know, like a mile before that. I walked there. I was like, fuck, I was so exhausted. It was just so weird. I was scared of running out of gas. On, you know, it's like, even on here or something, or over there. And anyway, I was hungry, this and that, but like, fuck it, at least I made it. I just started living. <laughs> you know, I didn't went for their beer. I just went to their uh, their bar. I think it's there to so use a bathroom. And then the guy, you know, told me, oh, the owner doesn't want you there. All right, bro. Swanky little guy. So, yeah. I don't know if I walked to this area, uh, 65th Street, 7th Avenue, 65th. But, but south where I was staying, I have, and it was 
predominantly Jew. I don't think I want to go into that neighborhood. It's creepy and disturbing. It's Hasidic Jews. Very disturbing, you know? The way they are. It's creepy. Ugh. Couldn't communicate with them. It's like, I don't want to say they all look the same, but like the females are very short, you know? Very short, like to my chest or something, stocky. And it was just disturbing. I actually felt like I was my leg got bit walking through there. And I could barely like move my leg. It was very odd. And then, and then it just went away. You know, that's that serpent. Very creepy. That's why I, I, you know, I don't, hate, I don't do well with religious people. They don't do well with me. You know, I just keep each other out of, out of, out of our minds, out of sight. Not out of minds, but out of my life. Yeah, twelve twenty six. I didn't think I was gonna hit traffic. Maybe I should contact Shishak. <laughs> you know, he's like a when he comes in to New York to Brooklyn, like to you know, drop off a truck. I came in once or twice with him. I drove one truck, he drove another, and we had to leave before six to, to beat the you know the, the rush hour, which was like ah, it's all right, but whatever. But it's like I get, I don't want to stay in trash guy there. You know, I just uh, it is tight and congested in there, like. I wouldn't. I don't think I would want to drive a, like an eighteen wheeler going into those places. You know. I, honestly, I think it should be illegal to drive an eighteen wheeler there. A warehouse too bad, but you're gonna designate a certain place just for warehouses. A big complex with just warehouses for like you know, for that particular area. And you know what? Maybe eighteen wheelers take you there, and you drive a box truck like a like the, the Chevy I had or Mitsubishi, whatever it was. So it's nice and easy and convenient to get through. You know, whole workforce for them. And it's like. I wouldn't put it there. I mean, I just think it should be designed a little bit better, you know? But, I mean, right now, the infrastructure's there, so it's like, what else are you going to do? You know, but the bridge, you know, Gothels, I think it should be redone because there's so much traffic here. And this is two lanes. Two lanes that always gets jammed up. I mean, it shouldn't be like that. Uh, the, the the westbound uh, has three lanes, as I, as I can see, but this one has two. It's just like, wow, two lanes, like... What is this built in 1920s or 40s? You know, it's like you know, these people have more cars right now. Everybody had people. Everyone pretty much has a, their own car. It wasn't like that before, you know. So whenever it was built, you know, even in the 60s and 70s, I don't know how it was here in the states, but uh, yeah, it just there's just a lot of vehicles out there, and there's a lot of people. Uh, you know, the world's expanding with a lot of people, so it, it needs to uh, be prioritized. All that traffic congestion, it does something for your psyche in the long run, you know? I mean, imagine people just get stressed, stressed, but you, either they blow up or they just, you know, heart disease, their biology, their mentality, and they just become stagnant. I couldn't, I couldn't see myself driving through here every day and, and rush out of traffic. In a place like Brooklyn, I wouldn't want to have a car. Unless, you know, I live, so I live in an apartment with a garage. What I would do... I'll, park, I'll have a garage somewhere in Jersey or something just for the car. I'll take the subway to, to Jersey and just, you know, drive uh, drive where I needed to go. In New York, you probably don't need a, you know, need a car unless, you know, there's trains, subways. So it's like, you know, even though they screw you with that, how, you know, it's congested that, you know, they didn't design that property nonetheless. So, you know, you take a hit for that as well. But uh, I'm just looking for the signs. If you live here, you're ready to be home. <laughs> Well, actually, you know, I got a couple hundred feet, and there's a guy for me, a driving slope. <clears throat> but that's how they get you in there, right? <laughs> Imagine, like, yeah, you only got, like, half a mile, five minutes. You're like, ah, uh, it's closer. I'm moving. <laughs> One guy's like, didn't he save me that much time? I just don't feel it. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like... It's the marketing ploy. They're they're a genius about it. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have thought of it until they said it. <laughs> you know, they do have a balcony though, which is pretty cool. And you know, when you get on the balcony, you see like a highway, you know, which is all right nonetheless. But you know, the other way you could the on the other side, the other way on the other side, you could probably see what the Hudson and like the pier. There's warehouses here. When we were driving here with my dad, it was like they were deteriorating. You know, I was like, why don't they just take them apart, just rebuild them, and you know, put something else in, not apartment buildings, but make up like parks or something like that. There's so many things you could do with that stuff, you know. 
and you know even on the upper level you have like trees and all that stuff like pine trees this and that skateboarders bike bike clip place for, to ride bicycles on, on top of the roof i mean you know uh done properly so people just j jump over like grates and stuff but imagine even a basketball court for the whole community you know i mean money is money i get that but you know at least they uh they touched up on, on the warehouses they redid them you know and that's the kind of apartment I would want, kind of. Like, with high ceilings. And, like, the New York style, where you see, the, like, a, uh, the vents. The actual vents, not, like... Because you could, you could make a fake lift, but like actual vents. It would be just so fucking cool. You know, if someone fat lives upstairs, there's a big plumbing tube <laughs> going into my living room. You know, I wouldn't care. It'd be so awesome, you know? Brick walls in the works, you know? I just don't think you could <laughs> lease or, uh, like, live in a... In a warehouse that, you know, is specifically designed for business. You know, but I would so do that. Storage place is cool. I was thinking if I do Uber Uber Eats, I would rent a storage space for like a certain kind of bike. And I would do it, I'll do it, I would go to Brooklyn, not too far from the subway. Just get in, get out, get out my bike, do whatever. And, you know, park it and then go back home. You know, instead of obviously take it in, just a, not just paying for the bridge, but the commute, this and that. Just take the train on the subway. Path, probably. I would have my car by the path station. So I would take the bike, do my routes, whatever. And whenever I want to go home, just go home, get in my car, you know, go home. It's an experience in the city. It's way different, you know. I couldn't imagine doing Uber Eats like in Jersey. You know, it was a nice neighborhood. When you drive in the car, I want to be outside. You know, even in the cold, fuck it. Oh, and please call me during the Super Bowl. I mean that. I mean, you, you probably did, but it's like, you know, I get a kick out of that to do the most deliveries or just net deliveries that survived during the Super Bowl, just like running around and you know, get the most deliveries they could possibly do, you know? Like, that would be, it would be challenging for myself, you know? Like, I would enjoy that. Like, I got 12 or 13 blocks. I got to go down. Let's see how fast I can make it in traffic. I already know the streets. You know, in and out of, of the of the sidewalk on the street. I don't think I would even take the subway unless it was like really cold. Then imagine you take the subway. Well, that's where you get around it. You know, it's so fucking easy. But I think I could even beat the subway, depending on how many streets away, and I don't have to choreograph it. You don't have to co coordinate it. Obviously, you know, if I'm going to Bronx from, like, you know, uh, lower Manhattan, you know, I'm not... Uh, I would make it on the bicycle. It's going to be long. People take cars or whatever, you know? You get integrated with a lot of stuff, but I would just... I would just play it to the, for, like, uh, for uh, the most efficient route. I got four or five deliveries. I got a big bag or like a, a holder, and I I would just see it or I'd go from one place. You know, if I gotta go, go hurry up one place, and they just go by another restaurant, right around, see who's busy or not, right around. Oh, that place always at this time. They say you gotta get to know this stuff. You gotta get to, obviously your know, lunch is pretty busy, but dinner, supper maybe not as much. Dinner's probably the busiest, right? Maybe some places at breakfast, depending what time you also want to start. You know, let's say you do like breakfast and lunch, and then you know hang around do something before you know dinner hits, and you do a whole day, or you just you know you just do a couple couple rounds, and you're like ah, I'm not feeling today, I'm in a bad mood, I'm going home. Or you just like fuck it, maybe get a beer, just one beer, chill, maybe get something to eat, uh, just go talk to somebody, <laughs> go crack up with your oh I like this. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, let me just record this. I love the BQE for this moment, this place right here. These are the warehouses. That one is just, you know, refurbished like you wouldn't believe, right? All of those, the black one. I don't know if it was there, water tower on top. That's what I love about New York. And these are just apartment buildings, you know? That's that BQE. 270H, that'd be an a-hole. <laughs> Look at that, I don't know if it was Macy's or something, what it was, I think it was Macy's had it there. You know, the, their, uh, their warehouses here. And they just re redid them. They're beautiful right now. 
They restored them. It was they were just raggedy, like four apart. Look at this one. How much money this thing could be? I'm assuming it's in hundreds of millions. I don't even know. I have no idea. I don't even want to think about it. It's crazy money. And there's the view. There's Manhattan. There's the city. It's gonna be a better view later on. When we get to when I get to the Brooklyn Bridge, it's gonna be gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's gonna be gorgeous. Just look at it. Don't be an asshole. Wake up. <laughs> oh yeah. Here was another beach near the strip. I heard they got flooded. And then they took everything off and they made a pier. I was there and they have like a skating park and like a place for basketball, like all the other stuff for like young for ju for youngins, for young adults. It was just so cool. At least that's what I think it was. It was awesome. I'm not taking that exit. AutoZone and the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Home Depot. Did I go to this one? No, no, it's still still too south. A couple miles ahead. It wasn't I went I passed the uh, at Lowe's, which was like, wow, you have Lowe's in Brooklyn, why? You have all these little stores that you had, but they had a harbor freight, so that was the coolest. Good prices. And I bought a generator for like $250. Now it's like $700. I sold it for like $450. So I almost made almost made 100 percent back. I just sat on it for like a year. Under a year. You know, I looked at the specs, I was like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, is there a catch to this? I didn't say that people at the Harbor Freight were stupid. They were just selling it for a cheap price. I didn't mean it in a bad way, but it was just so cool. I just could never get it started because uh, this, that, and the other thing. So I slept in the cold. I got room. There's a paddle ship, but let me see, five. Is it gonna downgrade itself? Let me see, let's slow it down to like. Obviously if I stop, it's gonna go right into one. Oh, it does. I would've done it faster, but that's, yeah, that's good nonetheless. It's cool. I want that to be like right here. I want it into it on one, there it is. Did it by itself. Like the gear, I want it to be almost shining through so I could just see the gearbox better, you know? This is just up and down, so I don't get the full, uh, the full manual uh, uh, feeling of what gear I'm in. And a couple of times I forget, you know, if I'm thinking about something, doing something, you know, I'm not thinking about it uh, all the time. I forget that. I'm like, oh, I'm in, I'm in third. Fuck, what am I doing? Here, punched it up. And there's the skyline. It is a bit foggy. It looks like Godzilla's gonna come on. Somebody's thinking about that shit. Rawr! Maybe just had a shot. No. <laughs> like, that's all of you. Like, ooh, star, star. Then you go to the mall in the city or some shit. Like, that would suck. Like, why would you do that? But anyway, oh, there's traffic. It's always jammed up over here. It takes for, I don't wanna say forever. It takes a while. Yeah. There's the outskirts. So two lanes on the street, two lanes on the highway. <laughs> oh yeah. Imagine you're like, you know, you see that guy, you're like, hey, don't come in here. Take the, take the side road. You don't want to get here. Not trying to stay in town, just there's no one more people in here. <laughs> you're like, oh, that guy's big. He's long. He's like two and a half cars. <laughs> should, I, should, I think I'm going to make a U-turn. You know, but imagine you live here. Would you care? I like the balcony. Fuck it, you see this, you come out, you do whatever you want. It's like, you know, you get you're used to it, but I wouldn't mind. Just that that thing right there, the steep over there, pointing it out. But it's like, you know, you ride by the big QE. Like, my street is busy, nonetheless. But it's traffic is actually kind of quiet. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, finally you guys shut up. <laughs> you know? But fuck it, it's like, it's in New York, so it's like, you know, it's a whole different environment, to a certain degree. I would not mind living here. Even those apartments, although I don't want to be in the high towers, you know? And I would also want to have my own garage. And I always thought about, you know, like you have, I know the rooftops are a climber with something, but put more trees, evergreens, and like a hangout spot, you know? You have a place to grill, or even, you know? Or a place to plant for like lemons and like other herbs and stuff, you know? And also all those uh, leaves, you know, they release uh, 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 oxygen, it, it, it helps. Uh, from uh, helps with, like, climate change and pollution 
and then right next to the highway, it should be an incentive for the government, the city, or the state to do that. Like, how do you not do that? And then you know, are gonna complain and say it's a conspiracy. Even if you think it's a conspiracy, it creates shade and it creates a healthier air. I mean, unless you drive, love to drink in toxins, then you know, stick your head up the tailpipe, tailpipe of a car, and just live there. Imagine how much damage you do to your respiratory system after breathing all these toxins. Consider how long you lived in an environment like that. And then also, I couldn't find it, but it's my theory. You know, you alter not your biology, but your kid's biology. I mean, I don't, I don't know how that works. Can you probably, maybe it has something to do with libido mostly and, um, you know, your, your productive organs. But uh, you do pass on certain genes to your children. You know, you can want to be the healthiest, but you live here. Who knows? Who fucking knows? And look at, you know, years ago they talked about autism. It's on the rise, this and that. I don't even know. All sorts of diseases, probably. I don't even know, but who knows, right? That's like the least of, uh, of people's worries to a certain degree. They don't care. So, you know, whatever. Your child is born with certain defects, whether biological or mental. Well, thanks, mom and dad, for actually having a brain in mind or even not caring, right? better learn sarcasm because I kind of like it. And if it's like that, what's the point of you wearing masks? You got bigger issues than that shit. I mean, parents lived in Polska. You know, it's a small, small city we lived in. And, you know, there wasn't that much pollution. We just switched different. We didn't have a car. We used to take the bus. The bus was grimy, all that black smoke. Some of them here in the States still do that. Like, it's the same we had in Poland in, like, 70s and 80s, bro. You guys are creepy, man. It's, like, unbelievable. Even Poland's coming up, and, you know, it's, it's that Europe thing, you know? And yeah, they, they do burn coal and they garbage in some degree, but if you look at and look at how they operate, they, they they come up from nothing and they just rebuilding it, all that stuff. And they still don't do it right. But at least they you know they're they're trying something. And I'm not even talking about Poland, what about Denmark, Norway, I don't know, say Belgium, Holland, Germany, you know. Fucking look at Scandinavia. I mean they're, they're they just, you know, they try to do so many, so many different innovative things. Save energy, save money, better living, happier people. You know, I guess, you know, you, you want to just be about that dollar, right? You want to be about that dollar and, you know, having those nice kicks, then it's a sacrifice you made. And you're going to cry about health care to some degree. I don't even care for about that anymore. That was out the window years ago. I think it's a fucking joke to even have that discussion. And some idiot on the internet, you know, Ganoush over there, talking about how vets should get uh, not free cars, obviously, free housing, and free, I don't know, no, no, don't pay taxes for the rest of their lives. And I'm just trying to explain to him, why have vets to begin? Why not just have wars to begin? He's like, well, you don't care, that's why you say that. Are you that deluded, or are you trying to get me angry? Are you, are you, are you, I mean, I know you're a fucking idiot. Like, you know, you're a gamer idiot. The girlfriend over there. You guys are a bunch of clowns and morons. But, you know, get angry, excited, call me a loser, and kick me and bam me. Mute me in your chat room, bro. Ooh. <laughs> like, I have better things to do than worry about you and your little chat room, bro. You know, your little drug life and your little fat, obese friends. Like, you know, do you know what shorts to buy? And they will tip over a boat. Like, you're, you're a fucking disaster waiting to happen. Consider you didn't happen to a lot of people in your life. You know? It's like, you know... You want to fix so people don't get a wound, and you're talking about how you should you should put appendages on the wound. Like what kind of bandage bandage you should use? And we're arguing about the simplest fucking things. You can give a vet a free housing, free food, and don't pay tax. Great, you save him money, bro. But chances are him or her might be disturbed mentally, and maybe they went through something that you probably are too you're too vagina to go through. And even if you did, pick up a fucking weapon and go to fucking war, asshole. You're that fucking, you're that fucking strong and tough. 
they got a couple of tours. I bet I want a 10% discount nonetheless, maybe, but is it really that important to a certain degree? About all the people that lost their fucking lives. You know, you're so fucking open minded, bro. Fucking cunt. And I don't even want to get into that. I just like, I, I felt a lot of probably would I don't even want to type this shit. So, like, how do you explain to this idiot when I'm typing? And then he'd be like, see, see, could you do that? It's like, oh, I don't got time for that stuff, man. You and your little, little people there could, could say whatever you fucking want to. I don't, I never trusted you to begin with. You know, I never thought that you people were that intelligent to be in it. The reason I didn't say anything, how could I put it in text form in a chat room? When then you omit whatever, you only read whatever you want to read or some shit. And then you get, you're ridiculous and you're going to answer, talk about something else that I'm not even talking about. It's just a waste of my fucking breath. And then there's people that abuse the, you know, they pretend to be vets nonetheless. Yeah, it's disrespectful, it's disgraceful, but look at the country we're living in. What about that? Hey, um, am I really trying to fill out my bowl here? I shouldn't even, you know, get that anger, excited. I knew, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew certain people have so low level intelligence. You know, they pretty much have nothing, like no, either no compassion, no, not just no respect, just no mind power whatsoever. It's a failed logic what they have. It's an absolutely failed logic. And I get it. Maybe, you know, they should design a healthcare system that would work. But I don't trust people, doctors or nurses to begin with. So I don't care if it's for free. They just say, I'm not paying you for anything. And it's not like I'm going to abuse the system and get it for free on the last. I don't going to go up for that and abuse it. Plenty of people probably do that too. They abuse it for a lot of other stuff. People abuse nonetheless. I don't. I'm the one that got abused. I stuck around. I'm giving you the fucking finger. Eat it. Oh, anyway. It would be nice if it was sunny. The skyline. Watching the pier. Still the big tree. There's the Brooklyn Bridge. It looks, it looks gorgeous, but it looks so much... Oh, yeah, this is the place I was talking about. Actually, no, is it here? Was it, yeah, there it is. They got, like, got a little... Fun, fun. Oh, it's a yacht. But when you walk there, it's just so much more surreal. It's actually way nice, better than, 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 than driving through here. You get a glimpse at it, right? It's cool, but... Oh, gotta pop it in here, see? <laughs> just riled up the engine. Beautiful architecture buildings. Uh, yeah, when you walk, it's an experience. And underneath it, there's Dumbo. That's what they call that uh, that borough, Brooklyn Bridge, right lane exit only. You know what? Maybe I'll go to Brooklyn Bridge. What's it? Williamsburg. Yeah, buddy. Because I already went there. I think I recorded the Brooklyn Bridge. Manhattan Bridge, I don't know if I did. It's beautiful, but I don't like that bridge too much. I love the Williamsburg. Fuck it. Let me walk up at Williamsburg. Oh, I gotta do that. I actually really did that. Man Bridge. Brooklyn's next to, uh, wait. Brooklyn, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brooklyn's next to my Williamsburg. Williamsburg is up north. That's where I'm going. And I was talking, talking. Traffic cleared gently, you know. It is a bit congestion, but it's not too bad. Uh, if it was like rush hour, 8, 9, 8, it'd be much worse. Uh, Shishak, you know, he goes to the way somebody, one time you like two, three hours just to get there. One time it was like, you get, it was four hours, four hours one time. All right, bro. And he would just park the truck, you see, you would like turn it off and just, you say you got out of it and you would talk to people, you just hang outside. Stand still traffic. You know, it's like, imagine going through that. But anyway, you know, it's like, and when people say, well, you know, we could increase the speed limit. When you put a band-aid on a bullet hole, on a gash. You know, it's just like, are you doing that on purpose? Or is it that you're that dumb? That's stupidity right there. It just doesn't get you stupider than that. Chances are people that do that, they might resort to criminal behavior. Who knows, right? That's how their mind works. They think it's just actually fine and normal. Like a lot of things are just fine and normal. 
to like karma or conscious hit you or like somebody reprimand you for that or you know you, you catch something or this and that or the other thing and just start thinking about it and then you recover and you go through the same shit right Flushing Avenue I think that's where I uh where I first uh, took the exit off. There was some place here just absolute hood, but I was like, and I think people were thinking that I would be scared. Like, what am I scared of? I went, I survived Trinitas and mommy. <laughs> I'm a thug now. <laughs> Diaper Rancher 43, fuck you. I can take anything. No, <laughs> Nigga, you had a, that, that shit. <laughs> And I don't use this straw to drink, drink my Coca-Cola anymore. <laughs> Talk life, baby. I'm hardcore. <laughs> no, I'm fucking up. It was dark and, it was, and I think they had street lights. So I'm like, well, it's not that bad. <laughs> and some people just like, I thought you were, the way you talk, like, why are you scared? You know, you know where we are? <laughs> well, I mean, I have a GPS. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I mean, I get it when you go <clears throat> to buy like a deli sandwich and it's like, one inch or two inch thick glass barrier between you and the cashier. There's three of them in there just staring at you. He's like, is someone robbing the place? What's going on? I mean, is this a attempted robbery? I, I don't, I'm not holding anything, you know? But he's like, let me just get my, I'm not doing anything. Like, what the fuck? I'm broke. What would you want from me? You know, it's like Eminem line, you know? You just be, oh, like some other guy said, you just be practicing if you rob me. <laughs> so what do, we, what do you want me? What do you want from me? I don't do anything. Metropolitan app. Ah, that's the, that's the McGinnis. Is it McGinnis? I ain't again genius. <laughs> I ain't again so I don't know. I forgot. Let me go up farther. Let me go up farther. I know um, uh, the the other one. That's where uh, Chris over there, Krishik, takes the exit with the truck to go to the, the warehouse and enter at Morgan Avenue. Like humbled. I'm humbled by that exit. <laughs> Always fuck around. Uh, that's where I think I might have went as well, McGinnis. But I don't, see, I didn't go too many times to McGinnis. You know, that's not where I wanted to be. Uh, let me see. Should just put the GPS, but nope. Gonna have a journey about it. All uh, oh, right, I was gonna go to the. Except where, where I thought, uh, you know, uh, Myrick over there. When it was right next to it might have been even McGinnis. You know what? It is Williamsburg that I thought I thought he went to. The first time I came here with him and uh we were, del- we were doing beer deliveries. At least that's what I thought. But anyway. And what is her alright, this is the Queens Queensway. Photos on staples. Familiarize yourself with the. Oh, I think I've been in this gas station. There's a BP. Midtown tunnel. Whoops. <laughs> Did I do? Did I whoops? I should have went to McGinnis. I wasn't even paying attention that much. Fuck. Exit, all right. Let's see this one. It's the same same type of structure. Is it beautiful? We driving and popping in the gears. Holding a cell phone. That's a demerit. Well, at least I use a turn signal now, officer. <laughs> Getting better. This is the bridge I wanted to, I don't want to say conquer, I wanted to go over with my bike, the fat tire bike, and the other one as well. I so could have, because there's a shoulder. That would have been so freaking cool. I 
got, I got enough gas, better than before, so it's fine. I love graffiti on the side of the buildings. It's so cool, especially when it's just done right, like it's art, you know? I thought you could put ads, but not, nothing specific about the store. You know, it's say like Food Town, something to do. What about people, the managers, or like someone that likes the people in there, and you put their face in there, or like a one particular moment, like was, they were smiling or something, and you, you graffiti, or you painted on the wall of the store. You know, I think that'd be really cool. Easter, all right, man. Well, see, I don't want to go on, uh, on that. Midtown Town on my hand, nope. Maybe I'll do that later. Cause I already went up the go up the Gothels, so maybe I just go to the city. Imagine you drive and you, you don't you don't get to experience everything. See, that's not the best. Gotta have a critique. The first one over there. Oh, that is a yeah. That's just there. That's pretty right. Right there, it looks like more form. Oh, I like that. Oh, droopy eyes. That, the letters are just, they're, they're long. He tries to do a bubble with it, you know? That's okay, I can never read them. That's fine, I like that. He used to accentuate more colors, but it does stand out in the burgundy or maroon, whatever, so that's cool. And this one is, has a roar in itself, that's pretty good. Yeah, see, that's, that's pretty cool. Well, not on the sidewalk, asshole. <laughs> Come on, buddy, you can do it better. Very industrial. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm in Queens right now. Queens can be very, very desolate. That's the bridge I was looking for. Because I was like, I don't know if I was actually going to Queens or something. No, I don't think I was. I don't remember, but I was looking for the bridge. I was like, fuck it. I want to see where that bridge is. And I never saw it. And I, and I started looking at my map. I was like, was I by there? I think I was like a couple streets off. It was just so weird. You know, I, I thought I'd be, I thought I would get there because everything that happened, like, it got dark really quick. Although it was winter, you know. But I looked at the time, it was like just so fucking, it just happened so fast. Wait, wait, wait. 55, 55th Avenue. Hmm. Yeah, like, uh, actually, not so much Queens, but that part of Brooklyn, there was all these warehouses. Wherever Amtec has the warehouse, it was just like, Wasted space like you wouldn't believe. It's even like this. I mean, this is actually cool. I get it. You have the port right there. So it exists for a reason. Speaking of port right there. Cranes or whatever. Like digging for oil, guys. Look at all this. I guess it's the, the part of New York that's really not seen, you know. Everybody thinks of New York. Oh, Abuela has their shit there. Ooh, they look like voodoo dolls. <laughs> not going there. Back to Jersey for me now. <laughs> That's scary. That one you got me, black people, whoever, or crazy Latinos. That shit freaks me out. All right, well, he's clearly lost. So let's just go home. Let's stop watching him. <laughs> and uh, cool lumber, planks, wood, wooden planks. Dead end. <laughs> oh, really? It is. <laughs> it's like, who, who thought of this one? That's it. <laughs> you are done. Take a spine later forever. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, I saw that I planned this. Fuck it. Let me see if I see a recycling center. But I never wanted to do this. I want. I like to have plans. We buy pallets, cash. Oh, I know a guy that wants to sell some. Oh, pooch! I didn't bring any bones. Look at that. And would it be nice if I had some greenery over here? Like trees and plants or whatever. Kind of fucked up. Ooh, nice little kick. Ooh, oh, yeah. Coming alive now. The grand is waking up. Right by the cemetery right now. York Studios. Alrighty. See, I just had to look at the at the gear the gearbox. Like I knew it was a three or four. I knew it was a high gear. So I knew how to downshift, but 
I know that now, and I know what year I'm in, so I don't think about it, but it'd be nice if it just, like, popped out, it, like, not too bright, but it just showed me, you know, it makes things a lot easier, unless you could redesign this, and it'll be, like, a small gearbox, like, uh, like, a gearbox, you know, without the clutch, so you'd be going like this, that would be even more, more fun, so just up and down, you know, then you would actually, you would omit that, and then I was thinking, why not have both to begin with, you know, is that too complicated? I also was thinking, why don't I just have manual and then semi-manual? I mean, but then you have to, like, mess around with the transmission. That's a lot of work. But, you know, I think that would be so much fun. It would just make, you know, the experience just more enjoyable. You know, this is fun, but um, I kind of want to look at my GPS instead of, like, going, I don't know, south, <laughs> which is, wait, let me see. Is it broken? Oh, why don't I just, where is this? Everyone you need it. Uh, uh, where is it? Oh, I have a built-in compass in here. Didn't think about that. Let me park. Or double park. Oh, that's the old school Cherokee. That's nice. Lift there in decent ramps. Fog lights galore, too. So let me see. Oh, over one hour. Uh, well, let me see. This is my temperature. I don't think it was here. Trip. No. No. There's that, dialog, analog, and I want that. Ooh, 28 in the right one. Yeah, it's always, it gets deflated. Did that already. <sighs> Let me see. Let me go to the setup. There's a gear display I can mess around. Current gear, defaults. Upper right, upper left. Okay, where? Speedometer. I think I took it off. Wow, what about... Duh, right there. Er. Uh, so I'm going northwest right now. I calibrated, I believe. I wonder if they, if uh, my battery got disconnected, it, it wouldn't, it would, it would mess it up. Well, let me see. Northwest. Hmm. I thought I was going northeast for some reason. But let me let me check it out. <laughs> 